Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Soul Eater episode number 39. Okay, uh, the previous episode Blackstar had a little bit of a kind of a problem, not a problem, but he was kind of suffering from this uh, kind of a little bit of an inferiority complex. Like I can't say it is an inferiority complex, but it was something that like uh, he was suffering from. Like he was uh, thinking uh, about all of those things with the, the fight with Mifune and everything like he never lost like that was his problem he never knew what loss was so after losing for like consecutively one uh, two or three times he started to get uh, like anxious about his own dreams like he dreamt of being the strongest person but obviously after losing like so many times back to back uh, a little I think doubt kind of seeped into his heart and he feared about not being able to uh, like live up to his own expectations and so that was the reason why like he kind of uh, went uh, head to head with Kid and <laughs> thankfully he like like got to like understand whatever that he was uh, having problem with and got it resolved and he also bounced back after his loss with kid uh, he was like like doing push-ups and everything like that's his positive thing like he can bounce back up which is something that is needed to become the strongest so i'm sure he will like one day become one of the strongest person and uh, he can say like yeah i'm a person who can beat god that is his dream so yeah guys um without further ado let's get started with episode number 39 of soul eater Okay, uh, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is the preference and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Oh boy, the subtitles are messed up again. <sighs> Oh, wait, there, yeah, how is it going to leave this place, like, <laughs> as if Medusa gives a damn. <coughs> Oh boy. Well, you won't get your candy. What about that? <laughs> yeah. Oh no. But even if he like goes like goes back to Medusa, how is he going to do it? Like Maka won't let him go, and I doubt any of the like Shibusen uh, students, like his friends, would allow that. And he has to like make some kind of excuse. Um, but yeah, one thing he can probably do is like uh, not let them know and like run away. That's like the only um, path left for him if if he decides to like go back to Medusa. Which I don't know if he will choose that path or like decide to remain with them. Okay, let's see. What is this place? What? 
What is this place? Why are Oh, this is Kishin's place. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not the time. Not the place. Okay, let's see how actually strong is this guy, like Kishin. Oh my god, that's a huge. Oh, okay. Well. Okay. Krona runs away. Oh my god. Yeah, as I was saying, like the only way to like get out of the like predicament is for him to run away. Oh Ashura. Hmm. Well, there you go. <laughs> Plenty of eyes for you to look at. Hmm. Oh my god. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um So So he really ran away like after being unsealed. Like he's like holding up inside here. Oh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> oh, boy. Okay. Well. Oh boy, she's choking. Uh. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh, oh. Oh my god. Ragnarok. Oh boy, I doubt he wants to go there. Yeah. <laughs> well, take a food with you then. <laughs> oh, wait. Where is the subtitles?
Uh, hey, well. Oh. Oh yeah, this is one thing I also want to know. Disappeared, okay. Wait, then how has she disappeared? Oh. <laughs> Ipo? Well, is that a hippo? Is that how hippos are? <laughs> what? <laughs> that is one of the best answers I've heard. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was one of the best answers I've heard, ever heard. <laughs> um, I, I don't think you need to compare uh, Maka's mom to Medusa. Like, I don't think you should even do that. No, a cafe, I'm guessing. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Hmm. Oh, wait, why? What's wrong with Sandal? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, like, his smile is extremely fake. I don't know if I'm wrong about that. <laughs> Wait, what? What's with the statues? Oh, it's it's asymmetrical. Okay. Oh. What the? Yeah, what is this? <laughs> oh no. Was this done purposefully? <laughs> Did he do that just to like lose so that he loses? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, he did that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, ran away. Yeah. 
Okay, well. Okay, well, who is... Okay. Well, let's go find him. Like, I... Oh, wait. Ragnarok. Eh. <laughs> Ragnarok wants its food. Wait, they did not like go much like far. Ninkum poop. <laughs> oh. Well. So she wasn't able to convince him. Oh, she was able to do it. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Oh my god, like, just think about it, like, Arachne controlling kitchen, my god. Well, that's a shallow pit. Hmm. Yep, and there she is. Okay. They might crash. Okay, they stopped. I thought they, maybe they were going to crash inside. Okay. Okay, she, he's at least telling it. Okay. Thank God. Like, well, now. I Okay, he's like saying everything. Okay. Well, now Medusa won't have a hold on him.
Okay. Yes, I know. Well, thankfully, this will all resolve itself now. I doubt it. Because, like, the chains that Medusa had on Krona will probably, like, break on its own now after he has confessed everything. Like, if he did not confess here, the chain would have still gotten a hold of him, still had a hold on him. But. Because, <laughs> well, that's a shallow pit. You can easily climb out of it. Oh, well, yeah, as I was saying, like, if he did not confess, then it would have been a problem. Oh. Um... <laughs> okay. Um, yep. <laughs> mm. Hmm. What? Who? Which she? Medusa or Arachne? Yep, Medusa. Oh my god! Oh, she just came here, like, just like that! What? What is her plan now? Oh my... I doubt it! <laughs> I doubt that. Like, that's a lie. <laughs> that's a lie. That's a barefaced lie. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, she might be here just to, like, take control of Krona once again. Like, I don't trust her. Like, like, now that she's, like, thinking that, yeah, like, going like this won't do anything. Like, like, uh, going like, uh, just like that. Like, uh, as he was, as she was, like, um, kind of blackmailing Krona so now she sees that like this nothing will happen now because obviously like uh, Krona has confessed everything now she's is she like trying to like like infiltrate uh, Shibusen so that she can like take control of Krona back again because she has a trump card that is the brew so I doubt he, she has any reason for surrendering there must be something else. Like, I have to, like, give props to her. Like, her brains is, like, her intelligence is one of the, what can I say, most calculating, uh, like, she, she, like, I've, I've seen a lot of anime, but Medusa is a character which is really, like, calculates everything and like strategically does everything and okay is that the end yep like she's like one of the those characters that 
is she's one of those rare characters like i've seen a lot of like quick brained people like intelligent villains as well but like medusa is something else like she does everything according to a plan and her like uh what can i say plans usually go as she wants it to and i don't know what plan she is like um like frying up now <laughs> Um, like what's her actual motive behind like coming and suddenly saying that I'm surrendering? Like, I doubt she's surrendering because obviously she has the trump card. Why would she sur surrender? So <laughs> Anyways, um Okay, this was um Quite a good episode like um This obviously had to do with um uh, Me Krona uh, like confessing his wrongdoings and like as i was saying at that time like uh, he confessed it that's the best thing he like did and uh, like um if she if he had not confessed um i don't know like this would have like continued to like make him suffer and he would have continued to keep it a secret and like continued to betray them and that would like in turn like uh, be like a huge pressure on him and also another good thing that's happened is because they know now that uh, <clears throat> because of like Medusa's uh, like snake, um, uh, Mari has been kind of infected by that thing and that is now uh, interacting with uh, Stein's wavelength of Soul's wavelength and making Stein go mad. So they can like do something for that. Like they can like act actively try to uh, like search for some kind of a cure. Oh, but um, Medusa came here and she said that she surrendered. So, yeah, that's another good thing. Like, I'm, I'm guessing this whole uh, madness kind of like Stein becoming mad is going to get resolved sooner than I thought. Because obviously, um, like Medusa is here and if like she, obviously she came here and she said that I surrendered. She must have some, some kind of plan, plan. And even if she has some kind of plan. I'm sure the first thing that uh, Shibusen people will ask her is for some kind of antidote to like stop that madness that is um, uh, like working again like on Stein. So yeah, it will probably get resolved soon, sooner than I thought. Uh, the whole uh, Stein's becoming like affected by that thing. So yeah. Okay, so yeah, that was that, and um, it was like a good uh, like moment when like. Maka, like, uh, I was not expecting that at all, like, when Maka, um, like, uh, when, like, the, uh, Krona was saying stuff, like, uh, uh, Mari was, like, uh, foolish to, like, trust me, like, trust a person like me, uh, I thought, like, then Maka kind of got mad and came down, I thought maybe she was going to say something like, uh, don't do their, um, like, talk, uh, bad, or, like, against them, uh, like, uh, they're my friends, or they're, like, my, you know, like companions but i was really surprised at like what she said like she said that don't you dare talk uh bad about yourself and that is kind of the truth what he was doing like he was not bad mouthing uh, mari and like his friends he was bad mouthing them and indirectly kind of like uh demonizing himself like kind of uh like making himself uh like what can I say? Like punishing himself like that by like bad mouthing them, and, like saying that yeah they shouldn't have like trusted a horrible person like me. So that was what he was actually doing, and Maka kind of like uh, hit the nail uh, what she said. So yeah, that was really surprising. I was quite impressed at that. And um, okay, uh, what else? Oh, also, um, I thought maybe like Krona uh, would run away, and most probably like I don't know, it would take quite a bit of time for them to like reunite again if like they found if Maka and like Shibutsen finds them, it most probably finds him. Most probably it will be about like four or five episodes later. But I was not expecting, also not expecting like this, like him running away, but like getting found in the same episode so yeah that was kind of uh, a good thing that happened and this really um like i have to say one thing uh, like i've seen a lot of animes and these kind of things are usually like um like 
stretched like uh, for example this uh, like uh, situation for example Cronut running away if like I've seen a lot of animes and they usually like do it like this like uh, for example Krona runs away in this episode then like he in the next episode he kind of wanders around and these like she was people would probably like I'm just saying this is a hypothetical like scenario like she was and all of them are like trying to find them uh, Maka is uh, kind of sad and in the next episode they'll probably like go somewhere and like finding some kind of a clue about Krona uh, and they will like find uh, more clues in the next episode they would probably like have an uh, inkling to where Krona is uh, in, the, in the next episode they will like find Krona and like Krona will like say that I won't go back and stuff like this they will have an argument in the next episode they will have a fight <laughs> they will fight against each other and like have a battle and uh, like um, the battle will almost end and in the next episode the battle will completely end they are going to like butt heads and like talk about the whole situation uh, Maka would probably forgive Krona and they'll come back. Like, it would have taken five, six, or seven episodes to complete the whole thing. <laughs> like it would have been, it would have been a full arc. But I'm really like, <laughs> like thankful that they resolved this whole situation in not even one episode, in a half episode. And that is something like I'm really thankful for because obviously there are a lot of uh, things which are of more importance than like Krona. Uh, like becoming uh, like like Krona betraying them like that is also important that Krona betrayed them but it's also not something that we should like focus on now we should focus on a few more things like Arachne, Kishin and obviously the whole thing with Avon and the things that are like uh, the secrets that are happening and um, Medusa obviously coming here just like that like these things like, we should uh, focus on so yeah like that was something uh, like I was quite impressed with like, they did not like spend much time uh, resolving this whole situation and uh, a lot of animes I've seen like uh, they usually like take a whole like thing to uh, like a whole arc a whole few episodes to uh, like resolve the misunderstandings and one thing I'm also like uh, uh, like the reason that they like resolved it so quickly is because uh, like this is not some kind of like 700 plus uh, episodes uh, anime like this is uh, a 52 episodes anime they had to like resolve it quickly otherwise they won't be able to uh, focus in the other portions so yeah um okay so yeah that was uh that and another thing in this episode we got uh, to see was uh joe buttataki him Acting quite suspicious. I'm not sure what he actually wants and what his like uh, what did actually uh, Shinigami ask him to do So yeah, and uh, I don't know like as I was saying at that time like uh, he Like wears a fake smile like That smile is not something that is natural like, He like always likes have a like little tinge of smile in his uh, mouth and like uh, I don't know like that's a fake smile and uh, I like a uh, kid was saying that same thing like uh, he is suspicious uh, looking at him like uh, it like screams that yeah this guy is suspicious excuse me and um, yeah so but I doubt uh, like uh, this is I don't know like this must be something like, like this can go either way like this might be some kind of uh, really serious thing like this whole Avon and whole uh, like secrets like whichever like uh, secrets Shibusen has this like thing that is happening this might be something which is really not something important or it might be something extremely important to the plot like who knows uh, like there are like enough uh, important things uh, in this uh, like anime uh, like now like for example Kishin, Medusa, Arachne all of these things are like at, at here at the same time so like uh, I'm not sure if this whole Avon and this whole secrets thing is more uh, like like something which is more important than the other things who knows I don't know like and like I kind of thought like Kishin was kind of like the main boss of this anime but like looking at it now I don't think Kishin will be the main boss because Arachne kind of like took him under her control. Kind of. 
So, yeah. <laughs> Who knows? And yeah, like, uh, Kishin is kind of like a uh, like young teenage kid. Like, so obviously, like, <laughs> Arachne <laughs> was able to kind of, um, like, tame him. <laughs> that would be the correct word to use here. Yeah, tame him. <laughs> and, um, like, yeah, like, uh, I don't know what to think. Like, if Arachne starts, like, controlling Kishin, like, one of his, uh, like, one of her lackeys, uh, I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> like, Kishin himself is, like, so damn strong, and Arachne uh, is strong herself. She has quite a few strong uh, minions, and, like, a Mosquito, that uh, chain guy, all of them and uh, Mifune and if like Kishin is also like included <laughs> within her ranks damn I don't know like <laughs> uh, who knows <sighs> okay so yeah um what else um okay so another thing we got to know was a little bit about Maka's mom like she is she's not dead I kind of knew that from like the different con conversations but obviously like this was a question uh, is she like uh, still alive? So she's still alive. Uh, she's divorced, and she is like traveling the world, and that's it. So, and why is she traveling the world? I don't know because obviously, like she was one of the best uh, masters, wasn't she? Yeah. So, like, why is she suddenly traveling the world? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> like hearing about Marcus' mom's description. She kind of reminds me about someone, um, you know, uh, Ging, <laughs> Hunter Hunter, uh, uh, Gon's dad. <laughs> like, I, I, like if you guys have seen Hunter Hunter, you must know what I'm talking about. Like, <laughs> like he's traveling the world and uh, like leaving uh, his son someplace else. Marcus' mom traveling the world, leaving uh, her daughter here and uh, like i don't know <laughs> like yeah she's like seems like that that kind of a character like a free spirit who like wanders around like who knows i'm just talking everything like a guesswork like it might be it might be completely wrong but uh like as far like marka's description she kind of like uh, is like that and marka is like quite supportive of that <laughs> like she says like yeah that's cool <laughs> Like good for her. Like uh, she takes everything uh, very um, what can I say, uh, coolly and does not uh, like have some kind of grudge that yeah my mom left me behind stuff like these. Like she didn't has nothing, but she like encourages that and um, also like <laughs> that was like hilarious answer. Like Marco, <laughs> Marco was asked that um, uh, like what was the uh, best um, like what did Krona ask? What was the best memory you have of your mom? And he said, like, mom's divorced. <laughs> oh, no. What the... Uh, like, I know, like, um, Marka's dad, um, uh, what, what was Marka's dad's name? Spirit, wasn't it? Yeah. He, like, like, it's been shown that he is kind of, like, a character who, like, cheats around. I'm not sure how much true is that or, like, it is something that... He usually like shows but he actually does not do i don't know like he kind of like we've seen like him uh like frequenting these um uh like uh, what was those places uh, cabarets weren't they yeah and like uh talking with them and like and laughing around like that is just something really uh i don't know like uh not like that can be counted as cheating but it's the, like like mark also said in this episode like uh you like cheated on mom I'm not sure what that actually was like what was it something that he really did or uh, I don't know like uh, so yeah if that was really the reason like she <laughs> like divorced him then like I can't say anything like uh, uh, like he got what he deserved but uh, I don't know I think there must be something more who knows like I really don't think that is the reason like why they had a divorce I might be wrong who knows it's just something that I'm guessing. All of these are guesswork. And I'm not even sure if, like, Marka's mom gets... I doubt she will get, like, we'll get to uh, see her face in the anime. Because this is, like, the 40th episode. Who knows? And I'm not even sure if they, like, show Marka's mom in the manga. 
Uh, after the anime ends, I'll probably go check uh, the manga out if like uh, if Maka's mom or not because I'm really interested and I'm really curious about her. Like, who is she? How much strong is she? Yeah. Like, like I really want to see like uh, what she actually looks like. So yeah, um, that was the whole thing, and uh, that was a fun episode. Not fun, but fun, emotional, and everything. Like this was like a full-packed episode. Uh, good kind of episode and uh thankfully uh i'm hoping that rona's uh insecurities and everything like her like him being brainwashed by the kind of like by uh adusa kind of resolves itself after like he has already like confessed everything so i hope everything resolves itself and he did a good job like he revealed everything to his friends and like even if he like gets punished a little bit, I hope that everything like becomes okay. Yeah, so yeah, guys, that was uh, this episode. This was episode number um thirty nine. Yeah, thirty nine. So yeah, guys. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed my reaction, press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Please be sure to do so. Comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to sh uh, share about this episode. Uh, I'll be sure to check them out. So. So yeah, I'll be back with a new Soul Eater episode after one day. See you guys then. And so until then, goodbye and have a nice day.